The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus passed by, two blind men followed him, crying out, Son of David, have pity on us. When he entered the house, the blind men approached him and said, And Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I can do this? Yes, Lord, they said to him. Then he touched their eyes and said, Let it be done for you according to your faith. And their eyes were opened. Jesus warned them sternly, See that no one knows about this. But they went out and spread word of him through all that land. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The forthcoming feast is the Immaculate Conception, and it deserves a novena of preparation because it is a very special feast. But the question is asked, why was Mary conceived without original sin? Why was Mary conceived without sin? And the answer is simple, because Jesus was conceived by the Holy Spirit. If Jesus was conceived by the Holy Spirit, the mother needed to be prepared, conceived without original sin. In other words, everything about Mary comes from Jesus. Everything about Mary is because of Jesus. Because separated from Jesus, Mary would be an ordinary woman. Separated from Jesus, Mary would not even be worth our second look. So I repeat, Mary is queen because Jesus is king. Mary is conceived without original sin because Jesus was conceived by the Holy Spirit. Everything about Mary is Jesus. Any praise given to the Virgin Mary is only a shadow of what we give to Jesus. If Jesus does not have a shadow, then Mary does not need praise. Everything we give to the Virgin Mary is simply to honor the Son. You know, my dear brothers and sisters, if somebody honors your mother and you feel good, that is normal. If somebody honors your mother and you feel jealous, that is sick. You are a sick son. You are a sick daughter to be jealous of your mother because any good child feels good when the mother is praised. In the middle of the Mass, we are going to say, through him, with him, in him. That is called doxology. It is called the praise of Jesus, the praise of the Father, the praise of the Holy Spirit. Through him, with him, in him. If the praise of Mary is only a shadow of the praise given to Jesus, then let's look at those three words. Through her, with her, in her. Through. How did Mary become such? For only one reason. Awa ng Dios. Awa ng Dios. There is nothing that Mary had done. There is nothing that Mary can do. There is nothing that Mary ever did that makes her worthy to bear the, the Lord in her womb. Everything is pure mercy. Hindi lang po pagmamahal, hindi lang love, kundi awa. Kasi kapag love, pwedeng equal. Kapag love, pwedeng lovable. Kapag mercy, undeserving, pero mahal pa rin at binagbigyan pa rin. Through the mercy of God, Mary is Mary. With her, through Him, 
with him through her with her with whom with the poor there is no other place to find Mary but with the poor it is not in dressing her in gold it is not in dressing her with diamonds but it is in looking for her in the eyes of the poor in the lives of the poor in the stomachs of the poor in the lonely hearts of the poor that you can find Mary separated from the poor Marian devotion becomes scandalous all devotion to Mary must lead to Jesus and all devotion to Mary must lead to Jesus the poor it must lead to Jesus the poor because the poor are our masters the poor are our kings the poor are in quotation marks our lords through him with him in him through her with her in her through mercy with the poor in in where in here in the heart we cannot be children of Mary by the body because she can only give birth to one but we are all children of Mary by the soul because our souls were begotten from her soul and our soul is her favorite place here on earth because in our soul is Jesus and where Jesus is Mary will always be there where do you want to find Mary look into your heart because your heart is her favorite place but where can you find Jesus look into the heart of Mary because into the heart of Mary you will find no one else but Jesus if you're looking for Jesus look at Mary if you're looking at Jesus Mary will only be inside him nowhere else Mary is mother primarily of the soul we don't have to dress in white and blue like her we don't have to grow long hair like her we don't have to go bare fruit like her that is not imitation that is mimicry imitation of Mary is imitating her heart giving your heart to her and allowing Mary to replace your heart with her own heart through him with him in him through her with her in her through mercy with the poor in our hearts that is where Mary is as we prepare for her feast the Immaculate Conception let us make sure that we become children of mercy because that is our nature let us make sure that the poor have a place in our festivities because the poor are our masters let us make sure that the heart is only the place where Mary can stay and let no one and nothing ever possess that heart Mary conceived without original sin we thank you for the gift of you Jesus conceived by the Holy Spirit thank you for the gift of your Immaculate Mother